My name is Maria Mann and I'm the managing editor of the European Press Photo Agency which is uh, headquartered in Frankfurt. Uh, EPA is a, an international wire service uh, only dedicated to photo uh, and I've been there for about a year and a half now. Uh, we have some 400 photographers around the world shooting everything um, and uh, my role has been basically to uh, do coaching, bring up the, the quality of the photography, the editing, and uh, in, in fact it's quite, a, quite an interesting job and an interesting challenge. I started with uh, UPI in 1970 uh, at World Headquarters in New York as a lowly intern. I finally made it to the picture desk and stayed there for 10 years and was uh, on both national and international desks. I left there after 10 years, went to Canada, worked on a newspaper for three years, then uh, started working for AFP, Agence France Presse, uh, as managing editor for North and South America. I then became director for North and South America and then international editor-in-chief in Paris. So uh, I was there for 19 years and that was an amazing experience because we just started uh, AFP from really nothing on the photo side and uh, grew it to something really quite special. Uh, I'm doing the same with uh, EPA since we only started as a full wire uh, global service in 2003. The first thing that a photograph has to do is to make you feel something, whether it's good, bad, ugly, happy, it can be nothing in the way of indifferent. If it's indifferent, you're lost. Uh, and so that the photograph is not indifferent, the photographer must also not be indifferent. He must understand the story, he has to under, have a passion for what he's doing, and he has to really be involved and want something to work, because you can see an immediate disconnect when there is one. It shows in the photos, you show, it shows that the photographer is either not interested or lost. And so what I'm looking for most, more than in the photography, is in the photographer. I've done so many photo contests, including World Press, uh, twice, and I know how long a picture stays up on a screen. That's also true for readers and for people that turn pages and go to other websites. So you have to engage the reader right away. People in colleges, universities say, how do, I want to be a war photographer, how do I do that? You don't tell someone how to do that. You can work your butt off, uh, but you can't jump into a situation that you don't know or that would be too dangerous for you. What you have to do is really make people trust you to begin with and not be there for the glory. Because if you're in there for the glory, it's all over in five seconds. You have to be there because you want to make people understand a situation, you want to make people see that there is change possible through documentation and documentary photography, and you want to be a part of that. What everyone will tell you and what everybody's uh, shifting towards or putting more emphasis on, and I'm talking about big news agencies and some are small ones, is uh, sports and entertainment. And uh, that's just a fact of life, whether we like it or not. Sports, I, I really have a passion for anyway, and I, I think it's a microcosm of life, so uh, that can be very thrilling. Entertainment is entertainment, and there's a lot of fluff and a big uh, multi-billion dollar industry that we need to cover and we need to deliver. So as a, as a global agency, we are engaged in that, and, and those things sell.